What started as a senior project for a local high school student has turned into quite an accomplishment. Kate Miller launched a weather balloon in Bowling Green yesterday, and within hours, she was able to start going through the data from that project. That balloon traveled all the way from Bowling Green out over Lake Erie. The balloon finally came down about 30 miles west of Cleveland. 13 ABC's Lisa Guyton joins us now with the rest of the story. The project took more than a year to get off the ground, and the teenager behind it is an impressive young lady. Not only did she organize all the scientific details, but she also had to raise about $1,200 to launch the project. It all started in the backyard of Kate's Bowling Green home. Hello. The weather balloon was fitted with everything from a GoPro camera to a GPS system. The experiment tracked things like temperature, radiation, air pressure, and wind speed. As it lifted off, there were no guarantees this project would be a success. We lost contact at about 11, when it was 11 miles in altitude. And when we got in contact with it again, it was over Lake Erie. I was surprised to even that it, we could get it back. Once it landed in Lake Erie, I thought, well, that's it. And the lake is where the trip came to an end, about seven miles offshore from the city of Lorraine. Kate is already analyzing some of the data, like the altitude the balloon reached. It's looking like it got to about 18.7 miles, so about 30 kilometers. And the camera provided some great pictures. We could see pretty much everything and all the, even just the very distinct layers of weather. We got a very, a couple views of Lake Erie, so you could see like some of the sediment coming out from rivers and stuff going into it. So it was very interesting to see the landscape. So just how did Kate get her experiment out of the lake? That's where the Coast Guard comes in. Probably within like 15 minutes after talking to them and everything and giving them all of the information, the GPS coordinates, uh, they just went right out there and started looking for it. And while the project did include some teamwork, her teachers say Kate did all the heavy lifting and her experiment helped bring the lessons of textbooks to life. It's kind of exciting to, to actually do science and math kind of live with real data we've collected. Doesn't happen often. As a teacher, you, you'd like to you'd like to have your students actually get out there and you know you help guide them along the way. But when they take the reins and do everything themselves, uh, that's that's the best thing right there. Kate also included some worms in her experiment to study the effects of things like altitude and temperature on them. She says the worms were all just fine when the balloon was recovered. Kate will be attending the University of Dayton. She plans to become a teacher. Lee and Diane. You kind of got that idea listening to Kate, huh? I, I, she's going she's gonna to be smart. Whatever she yeah, does, she already absolutely. is. Absolutely. <laughs> All right.